Hi there and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 2, Humbara. And we're here at Cromwell's Smithy. It shall be to create a few special items. Do you have anything I could forge into an item? Hmm, I couldn't rightly say. Let me have a look into your goods then. A minute of remaging and I n I'll know for sure. I hmm, what's this? Some kind of scale from a beastie eye? Hmm. You have the husk of an ankeg, I see. A comrade in Barrack has taught me to make a fine suit of armor from the beastie. Would you like to commission a suit? No. Ankeg's plate armor isn't good at that point anymore. I don't think so. Do I have anything else of interest? Hmm, I'll take another look for myself here. Hmm. Alright, now what do we have here? You have a hammer of thunderbolts, gauntlets of ogre power, girdle of frost giant strength, and a scroll with the thunder hammer's true name, Crom Fair. This is a collection that would widen the eyes of the South Soul Forger himself. I could create a Crom Fair for your friend if you had interest, of course. What would that involve then? Two things, my friend. It will cost you 10,000 gold for the work, no less, and without an apprentice you'll have to stay here a full day and help me run the forge. That sounds fine. Let's do it. As you wish. For such a commission we can start on it right away. No sense in wasting time then. It'd be best if we just get to it. Okay. And now we get a special weapon. But Haywood is just standing around looking pretty. So I don't know what he's doing here. The dwarf is doing all the work and his magic. So we could have done questing and stuff. Well, there you go, my friend. Use it well. And if you come across anything else of interest, you know where to bring it. I Exactly. What else do we have? No, not the armor. Hmm, you have part of some sword here, is it? Let me see. Hmm, I see. You have a hilt, a blade here for... and a blade here for a long sword. And a pommel gem with much of its power. I could forge it all into one mighty sword for you. What would be involved in that? 7,500 7, gold, okay. We have money, we can afford it. Alright, what else do we have? Hmm, what is this then? Part of a bow? Looks like Gazen's work. Hmm, aye, this is Gazen's work indeed. A string and a bow shaft. I could remake one of the great boyer's uh, shot bows for you. This is a truly powerful weapon. And it costs 7,500 gold. Let's get going. Alright, what else do we have? No. Hmm, you have the shaft and blade of a whole world. Power of water in its elemental magic. Most interesting. If you like, I could try to reforge it for you. It costs 7,500. This is going to take a week or something. Hmm. I need a swig of some strong dwarven ale. What else do we have? 
What is that? Gith craftsmanship? I haven't seen this in over a century. Well, you have the hilt and blade of a Warpal silver sword. If you're willing to risk the wrath of the Gith, I'm willing to put it back together for you. And as you should have known by now, it costs 7,500 gold. Alright, what else do we got? Nothing. Great. So, we have the Crom Pharaoh. This is, a, this is the true name that the Dwarven Weaponsmith Silverblade gave to the weapon he intended to create for his son. Alas, his son died before the weapon was ever completed, but there it stands complete, forged from the combined magic of the original hammer with the gauntlets of ogre power and the girdle of frost giant strength. Crumfair gifts its users with all the powers of the original hammer of thunderbolts in addition to the enormous strength and the ability to kill joke golems, atens and trolls in one blow. It grants a strength of 25, kills stone golems, clay golems, atens and trolls. It is a plus 5 weapon, damage 2d4 plus 3. It's a Warhammer. Nobody is proficient with Warhammers, but still, this is a very good weapon. So, yeah, we want that, and it gives Minsk a strength of 25. See? If we used... Let's switch that. If we used the axe... Um, I don't need two axes here. If we used the axe... He would have, uh, where is it? A uh, main hand heckle of 4. Plus 2, plus 5. And if he uses the hammer, he has a main hand heckle of minus 10. Plus 7, plus 14. Alright. This is a very good thing. What else do we have? The equalizer is a long sword. Such is the age of this sword that its true origin has been lost to time, but markings hint that it was possibly forged in the service of Helm. Also called the Sword of Neutrality, it seems designated, no, designed, to seek and terminate extremes, to shift the universe closer to harmonious equilibrium. The further the behavior of a target from true balance, the more potent the damage they suffer. Always consider the plus three when determining what it can hit. And then you see that the bonuses it gets. Immune to charm and confusion. That's not a good not a bad thing though. But it's just a plus three weapon, so hmm. we have short bow of Gazen. The finest bow crafted by Gazen can this weapon draws energy from another plane, firing spears of lightning instead of arrows, and therefore never requiring ammunition of any kind. It is said that Giesen prepared to retire from his craft after selling the invaluable weapon, only to have the bow wrested from his grasp by a thief who used it to end bones, uh, Giesen's own life. A side effect of the bow bestows protection from electricity upon the user. Mm -hmm. Very nice, it's a plus 4 weapon. Grounds 20% resistance to electrical damage. So I guess we give that to you. Oh, he's good with a longbow, not with a short bow. But then I guess it doesn't make much of a difference, does it? Oh well, doesn't matter. That goes in here. That is the silver sword. This Warple Silver Sword radiates a dark aura when you examine it, and the blade is so finely sharpened it could likely sever a head in a single blow. There's a 25% chance each hit uh, that the targets must make a saving throw versus death or die at a minus 2 penalty. It's a plus 3 weapon. Nice, but we already have a better plus 3 weapon, this one here.
And last but not least, Howard plus four wave forged in antiquity, antiquity by a cult devoted to the goddess Umberly. This weapon of vengeance was designed. No, this time it's designated to aid the cult's champion in retrieving a holy artifact from the fire giants of the Stormhorn Mountains. This was a lot of hope to place in one champion, and unfortunately, wave had been lost ever since. 15% chance of draining victim of water, plus 15 damage, slays fire elementals, if free, salamanders, no save at all. Very nice. But nobody's proficient with halberds, but if you fight those, well yeah, it would be a good weapon. The bad thing is though that Jahira lost her gauntlet of ogre power in the creation of the Chrome Fairy, but good thing we have a spare pair. Now she's strong again. I approve heartily of the path that is and been taken. that's pretty much all we can do here with the Smith. Let's go and visit the Thieves Guild. Consider it done. Because we are looking for allies to fight Bodhi. This is the 55th day. are just aching. I've never walked so much in my life. Can, can we rest now, please? Soon, but very soon. Everyone, where are you? There you are. Get in here. So, we want to go I will do my best. down here. Good to see a like-minded friend. What? Who's talking? Ah, hey, Wichaplome, you are here. This is most fortunate, as I had just recently been dispatched to track you down and deliver a message. Well, this makes things much easier, doesn't it? You have done our guild great services in the past, and the Shadow Master Aaron Linwell extends the guild's continued hospitality and requests to speak to you as soon as possible. I do not know the reason for his requested audience, sir, but he awaits you in his chambers below. Very well, I will go and see him now. Excellent. The Shadow Master will be pleased. I will go and tell him that you will be attending him shortly. Let's see who makes it there first. So, if I remember correctly, Aaron Lindemann was here. Yes. Move. Exactly. Ah, you have returned after all, and far sooner than I expected. After you left on Havarian's ship, I must admit that I half wondered if you would reach the island, never mind return. I half wondered that myself, considering the fact that your captain betrayed me. He betrayed you? I'm not surprised. Oh, don't look at me like that, it was not because of me. Seeming Havarian was not one of my men in the slightest. I did tell you that few ships dare to visit Brindelore, and you saw the type of person that haunts the place. Havarian was the best available, I'm afraid. And I see that you have your companion back amongst you. That was your goal, wasn't it? I trust you are no worse for the wear, my dear. Other than the fact that Bodhi has my soul, sure, I'm just fine. How about you? Ah, I see. Would that I had a spare, but that's not the commerce I traffic in. My sincere regrets at your condition. I w would not wish such on anyone. If you wish, I could have the good captain tracked and punished for his misdeeds. I didn't pay. I did pay him extra to keep you safe. Gold that apparently was wasted. No, don't bother. Avarian is already dead. Is he? What a shame. The matter is settled then. I need your help in dealing with Bodhi. You were successful. 
destroying her guild, of that I'm glad, but the mistress herself seems to have survived. I don't know why she returned to Athkatla, but I can't take the risk that she will rebuild and take revenge on the Shadow Thieves, and myself of course. Ah, here it comes. Why did we even come here, which I blow me? Is it not bad enough that we must face such evil without dirtying ourselves in the process? I would like you to end her existence permanently. I won't fault you for your failure last time. Obviously both of us underestimated the extent of her power. Well, I intend to do it anyway. I came here looking for your assistance in attacking her. Then you shall have it. You have proven yourself to the entire guild and from your reputation you are certainly to be trusted with the lives of my men. I will have Arcanus and Yashiko and others, our best assassins, join you when you enter Bodhi's catacombs. I want to be sure Bodhi is forever out of my hair. Go to the catacombs when you're ready then. Your assassins will meet you there. And incidentally, good luck. Thanks. Okay. So, after Dritzt, the Shadow Thieves join us in our noble cause. You're coming? And up we go. Very well. Wait a second. She doesn't have a lower resistance spell. Okay. We have to change that. Done. All right. Let's go. And we go to the temple district. Let's see, maybe the Temple of Helm would help us against Bodhi. It shall be. Helm requires nothing further for the moment. Mm -hmm. You will be summoned if you are needed. Apparently not. Never betray trust. Such is the ah. will of the Vigilant One. May Helm watch over you and guard you from danger in your future endeavors, hey, which I blow me. Now, if you will excuse me, there is much I must attend to. I've come here to ask for Helm's aid in a matter of utmost importance, High Watcher. In this, as in all things, Helm shall perform his duty. What is this matter, hey, Witcher Blow Me? Tell me and I shall tell you how Helm may aid you. I must do battle with a powerful vampire here in the city and I cannot face it alone. I ask for the church's aid. I know of this vampire, Bodhi, yes? Helm knows that she endangers all. We are guardians, servants. I wish we could join you in this struggle. But we have nothing to aid you with. I would suggest you approach the Paladins of the Radiant Heart, if you have not already. I have given you my decision, now you may go. Well, boo! I help you, and what do you do? Nothing. But I think if you, the main character is a priest and has a temple, I guess they will help him. Consider it done. But since Haywood is a mage, the temple don't do shit. <sighs> Let's ask the paladins then.
And in we go. Hmm? May the gods look upon you kindly. Squire Cathmas. Greetings to you, hey, Richard Blomi. In the name of the most noble order of the Radiant Heart, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Squire Catheras, assistant to Prelate Wesselin. I am young, but I have been following the tales of your many exploits. It is difficult to discern the truth, but whatever truth there is to these tales must still be quite exciting. I am pleased to finally meet you in person. I apologize, however, however you likely came here with a purpose and I am keeping you from it. Did did you have business with the Order, Hey, which blew me? I intend to list the aid of the Order in battling a powerful vampire that is in the city. A, a vampire? Such a terrible creature truly exists? Here in Athgatla? I, I had no idea. You must tell the prelate about this immediately. If there is such a pervasive evil in the city, I'm sure the Order will do all it can to assist you. Come. Alright, let's visit the High Prelate. <coughs> Who happens to be here? Ah, here which I blow me, I greet you on behalf of the Order of the Radiant Heart. We welcome here in our hall. Do you have business with the Order? I do. I intend to do battle with a powerful coven of vampires here in the city and I wish to rescue the Order's aid. I have heard of this vampire, her name is Bodhi, but did you not destroy her and her guild in the beckoning of the Shadow Thieves? I destroyed her guild because I needed the aid of the Shadow Thieves, but I could not destroy her. She has returned to Athgatla and has regained her strength. Then she and her brood must be stopped without questions. Very well, hey which blow me, the Order shall fight alongside you against this evil. When you go to the graveyard to face this creature, I shall send a group led by Sir William Rarick to fight by your side. They will meet you in the catacombs. In Tom's name, I pray that this is enough to defeat this evil once and for all. Go with my blessing, hey, which I blow me. I have preparations that must be made. Alright, so now we have the aid of Dritzd, um, the Shadow Thieves and the Paladins. That's, as far as I know, or we can get at the mage. I, I mean, we could probably do it on our own. You know, being a band of merry adventurers. But some help. Won't hurt. Get out. Come on, form up here. I await your word. And we leave. This time for Joaquin's promenade. Because there is the Temple of Ilmata here. It shall be. Consider it done. Greetings to you, my brother, and welcome to a refuge for the suffering and those in need. The martyr offers shelter and healing to all who desire it. What is it that I can do for you? I have a strange request, brother. I have the heart of a man that died in shame. Interesting, though not unheard of. We often try to guide those that have already fallen. Some live well when they fall and then fall unexpectedly. Tell me of this man. Yoshimo, a friend that was forged, forced into treachery. He begged that Ilmata spare his soul from the hell he was promised. I see. Events took him further than he expected, and he suffered as he struggled between duty and conscience. I have seen such torment in souls before. 
Very well, we shall take his heart unto the breast of the martyr. The crying God will determine what torment is deserved or not. If there is suffering undeserved, this Yashima will see relief in his eternal rest. And uh, we get 200,000 XP. Nice. Alright, let's take a look. There should be a spell store here. I will do my best. <coughs> So, what do you have, my friend? Oh, nothing that I really need. You don't even have a scroll case. You suck. What do you have? You suck too. Alright, let's visit the adventurous mode then. <coughs> Alright then, you're a good customer and a successful adventurer. Would you rather see my secret stock of items? For only 50 gold, I'll show you the wares. Okay, show me your special wares. Take a look at some of these items, you won't be disappointed. Okay, we gotta sell a few things here. Don't need that anymore. Thanks. So... What do we have here? I don't think we need... Oh, I can't even sell that. It doesn't buy projectiles. That's weird. We would buy that. I don't want to sell it though. <sighs> Gloves of pickpocketing. Cloak of non-detection. I think we can sell that. Skull Crusher. Well, maybe. Uh, I don't think we need that. Rod of Absorption. Plate of Balduran. Plate of Searing. Dragon's Birth. Braces of Binding. Armor of the Viper. Hey. He doesn't even buy the ankhag shells. All that stuff can be sold. That's weird. Wand of Wonders. Random effects at page time the wand is used. Ah, I don't, I'm not using that. 
I don't think we need the Hello Redeemer. Okay, I'm keeping those weapons though. What did that do? Nothing. Okay. Sell it. Oh yeah, gems. <coughs> Lots of gems to sell. Twenty two. Oh, 53, okay. I'm not gonna scroll them up. Fifty-three pearls, too. So apparently we get a lot of money for the gems, too. Okay, I'm gonna hanging on. I will hang on to the rogue stones though, and the ring of acuity, and ring of lockpicks, and can't sell the hopper amulet apparently. <coughs> so, well, what do you have? Now we have 180,000 gold. Helm of brilliance. Nah, we don't need that. Full plate, armor class zero. We have better stuff. Cursed reduces charisma by five points. Armor class minus two. Nah. Leather armor, crimson chain plus five. I mean, it's armor class zero. I guess for a bot that would be a very good thing. We don't have a bot in the party. War blade plus four, a two-handed sword. We have a better one, so skip it. Heart seeker. Mm, nice, but we have better bows. Oh, why do we have spells? Oh wait, that's too much. Very well. What oh, is freedom? I think we already rolled that. That a freedom spur always comes in handy. What else do you have here, spell-wise? No, I think those are the spells that I sold to you.
All right. What do you have here with your usual items? I guess that's just the stuff I sold to you here. Can't send any of that. Oh, here I can sell at least those. That's nice. Hey. Okay, it worked. Why don't you buy those paralytic bolts and the cool Toa bolts? Alright, so I guess there's nothing else to get here. Get out of the way, man. Okay. What do you have to sell? I don't think we need that anymore. Permanent protection from evil. But she has a better amulet, so skip it. You have nothing that I need. What do you have? I don't usually speak to the likes of you, but hello. Nothing. Great. Alright, so that's it. For this video at least. We did some shopping. Mainly spells. And we will take a break here. So, thank you very much for watching. And see you 